Hello folks, I'm Scott Turner Still Outdoors. Today we're going to take a little venture down to Garibaldi, Oregon, down the Oregon coast. And we're going to get after some Dungeons crab. And uh, we're going to show you some tips and tactics on how to catch these things down here with a fishing pole. Now, we've actually done a crab fishing video in the past. The difference in this one is we've learned a few things since we made that video. That was in the early days when we came down and uh, we actually, for a snare, we just used a balled up piece of fishing line. Um, since then, we have upped our game a little bit. Now, the balled up fishing line actually worked up pretty good. Because not only did you have a purpose for your old fishing line that you tore off your reel, um, but uh, the way it worked was you put a sinker on it, you bait in the middle, and then the theory was you have that balled up fishing line, and when the crab come in to eat it, they get their legs tangled up in it, and you reel them in. Well, the problem was we'd lose a lot of them. And you almost always had to have somebody with a net trying to net them because they would get off as soon as they'd see the top of the water or they'd see the rocks, they'd start scurrying around and allow them to get away and you lose a lot of good crab that way. So from that, we uh, we started using these snare, uh, these snare traps. And like this one, this one has a box on it. And the way it works is uh, it's got a little bungee on it. You put your bait in there, close that thing down and then you can launch these things a long ways. Same with this one, it's a ring. Same basic design, and it's got a, a little pocket here to put your bait in it, and same thing, you just kinda have all these little half hitches. It almost looks like weed eater wire um, all the way around them. And so the theory is they come in here and they eat them, they get their legs tangled in these, and you set the hook as hard as you can, and hopefully you get a leg, and then it grabs it and you just drag them in. Because if you do, you get this around all those joints and legs and you keep constant tension as you're reeling in, they're not gonna get away. The problem is a lot of them are just like latched on and the same, same thing is with the fishing line. They get up close to the bank and they just let go and you lose a ton of them. You can't catch a few like that. You can cast these really far, which if you're in a place where you have to cast far, you might try using one of these. And this one, I mean, it goes even further. It's got this metal ring on it, but they're not very effective. This is the mother of crab snares from the shore. Now this thing, it has these locking hinges with springs on them. So when you go to cast it, it's tight like this, it launches out and you'll see it'll spread out like this. And well, if, it, uh, if I didn't have it tangled up, it would work right. I wanna make sure it's not tangled up. But when you cast it out, it comes down like this, hits the water, sinks to the bottom. And then when you get a bite on it, because your line is hooked right here, you set the hook as hard as you can and it snaps it shut. Well, all those crab get stuck in here and they can't escape. And again, keep constant tension real as fast as you can because some will scurry up, but for the most part, you'll catch three and four in this. The odds of catching three or four keepers at one time, that's pretty slim. But this works really well. If you do buy these though, make darn sure that you get one of these with it too. So this attaches to it right here, typically with a couple of uh, zip ties or you can tie it on with something, a little piece of wire or something that's it's not gonna come off. Uh, zip ties work really well because then it moves around a little bit. But you definitely want it in the center on the inside. Uh, when you come down here, crab fishing, uh, legal size is five and three quarters in Oregon. So just get one of these little handy dandy things and the thing about it is when you go to measure them, it's not to the horns. You have to look at the regulations. There's a certain way to measure them and you can't cheat it. I just called a little bit ago, that thing was an eighth of an inch too small and I had to turn them loose. But uh, it's super fun. And uh, we're gonna show you how these things work. So this is some really great bait right here. I'm gonna catch you sea bass, and then uh, typically I fillet them out. But what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of extra on their belly, and I'll field dress them. And that's my crab bait. So I'm kind of doubling up there. Something about fresh bait. Seems like it doesn't matter what you're fishing for. Sturgeon, catfish, 
Even crabs. They all like the fresh stuff. Man. It's about four fish tacos right there. <laughs> this is how you load this thing. Super easy. Just take your uh, bait. I prefer like some fresh cut bait or something like that. Some people use chicken. Salmon works really good because it has a really uh, oily smell to it. You just shove in that bag, tighten that thing down, and put a knot in it that you can get out. I can just put a little loop in there so I can just pull that. This stay is pretty tight as is. You don't want a crazy knot so you can't get that thing apart because you're going to reuse this many, many times. It's a full snare, holy cow. Let's see what we got in here. Now, but he's too small. Ow! Oh, bugger got me. Get the measurement on this guy. As you can see, this one's just a little short. It's gonna be like an eighth of an inch. Man, ain't that all the way. You're lucky, Mr. Krabs, you get to go home. Sometimes you can see little nibbles just like that. And these crabs got a hold of your bait. By far the best way to get after these crabs is in a boat using crab pots, but if you don't have those means, you want to do it a little bit cheaper. Bust out your old surf rod, your sturgeon catfish rod, and make sure you use a, a minimum of medium heavy rod and 30 pound test as it's a lot to cast. Come on, let's get a keeper. Ooh, that's heavy. Jeez. I wish I was just one. <laughs> this would be like a three pound crab. It's probably half moss or something. Ooh, man, look at all of this. That thing can't even hardly even close. Holy cow. Ooh, there's a male in there. We might have to put a tape on it. Yeah, let's see. This dude's a hard nope. What's this dude looking like? 
We got two of them here. Oh. Female. This dude is a male. We're gonna put a measurement on this guy. Ow, you little bugger. Dude is trying to get me. Some of these are ferocious. He's like, oh, I'm too close. Oh. Yes, sir. We got us a keeper. That's why he was freaking out. Sweet. In the pot you go, buddy. Well, folks, had a pretty good time down here by RVJ to get after these dungeons, crab down out of Garibaldi. It's pretty fun. It's something pretty fun that your whole family come down here and do. You have to watch out these rocks. They're a little bit treacherous, so watch your step. Down by the water is really slick. So hoist these crabs up so you don't get down there and get hurt. But, uh, you know, you come down here and expect to catch a couple crab a day. And uh, as long as you don't have grand expectations, you're gonna have a good time. I mean, you're you're probably gonna catch 30 of these things for every keeper. But sometimes you catch four or five at a time with this this new crab snare. And you, know, you come down here and do it super cheap. You know, just get a big old ball of line, throw it out there, and you're gonna catch a few. But you're really gonna up your odds and catch way more using this style of snare. It's pretty darn effective. Uh, much better way to get crab in your belly. Uh, the old timers down here, they say though, coming months in an R, which means September, October, all hunting months, which you won't see me down here. But uh, you know, if you like crab, get after it. Apparently it's pretty good that time of year. But uh, we really hope you folks enjoyed the video. If you did, we greatly appreciate the subscribe channel. It helps us out. You know, we've got uh, our website now. And we got some shirts and some hats and the keychain and stuff like that. And as always, we try and put all of our equipment that we use down in the description. We make hyperlinks down there for Amazon and Cabela and stuff like that. We try and find the best deals so you folks can just find the stuff at home and you can stock them before you come down here. But uh, in the meantime, folks, you might see me howl right here. <laughs> oh boy. Get out there and catch your silhouette somewhere outdoors. Thanks for watching, folks. <laughs>